one of the paths of yoga is jnana yoga or the path of wisdom or knowledge here it is important to know that the path of wisdom which means the knowledge has in transferred into our experience not just information you know our mind is very tricky it has a tendency to be contented very easily for example you say okay i want to know what yoga is and somewhere you read an explanation okay yoga one definition of yoga is yoga chitta vritti nirodha when the mind settles down the activities of the mind subside that is yoga so now the mind knows this and is very happy contented okay now i know any time anybody asks i can tell them what is yoga maybe you will go and tell people yourself hey do you know what yoga is no okay i will tell you see i am so learned i will tell you what yoga is no? but then has it come to your experience have you experienced that state where the mind has subsided totally where you can experience the nature of your consciousness where the consciousness itself is able to experience its own true nature so that is why on the path of yoga it is so important that we don't stop there you go for the experience don't just keep reading books going to lectures people can study all their life they have so much of knowledge but have you experienced so on the path of jnana yoga they say there are three steps to turn knowledge into wisdom to turn it into our experience the first step is called shravana shravana means to listen it can be reading also allowing the knowledge to enter without any bias with a focused mind with a humble mind with a sense of reverence and sincerity being open to the knowledge and the second step is manana manana means going over it again and again looking at it from different angles applying it in our life how does this work for me is it really so how does this apply to the situation this is also one step we can do we can do shravana we can do manana the third step is called nidhi dhyasana nidhi dhyasana is something which happens that we cannot do nidhi dhyasana means where it becomes our wealth so when again and again being with the knowledge applying the knowledge living the knowledge then one day when it comes to our experience something opens up oh that is when it becomes firmly established so when you practice knowledge when you practice jnana yoga don't just stop at the shravana part or even the manan part go through it until it becomes firmly established that is when you will experience that true yoga through knowledge through wisdom